Who are you going to vote for for Sir Wes? See your options in this edition of the newscast. Sir West is January 30th. You can buy tickets at the Activities Office. $10 for singles, $15 for couples. If you wait until the day of Sir West, you can buy them still at the dance, but they will be $10 per person and you will need your student ID. We are all very excited for the dance. Here are the speeches from your Sir West court. Being a Pueblo West Cyclone is something every student here should be proud of. To be able to say this means that you go to the best slash safest high school in this town. It means you have the most dedicated staff and coaching and the absolute most opportunity to succeed. We have all been very privileged to be able to attend such a prestigious school. I would not have wanted to spend the last four years of my life anywhere else. I would never have met the wonderful friends, Miss Wolfel, or learned the value of dedication and hard work through my short-lived wrestling career. Being a part of the student body led by this staff has truly been an honor, but I would be lying if I said that I couldn't wait for it to be over. Festivities like these only make it seem that much closer. Realistically, I'd also be lying if I said I wouldn't miss it all. This experience has taught me quite a lot about self-expression and discovering what direction to take your life. Hello, my name is Alec Garcia and I've been nominated to be this year's Sir West King. Every year, the nominees are asked to give a speech on what it means to be a cyclone. I've heard this question answered countless times these past four years, and to be honest, I never believed I would be the one answering it in front of the student body. However, thanks to the senior class, I now have a chance to give my opinion on why we should all be proud to call ourselves Cyclones. I believe that being a Cyclone means you're simply number one. Compared to the high schools in our area, I firmly believe we are number one in every category that goes along with what makes a high school great. From the extremely hardworking and no-nonsense soft teacher, Mr. Harriman, to the always wonderful and friendly science teacher, Mr. Albrisi. Every staff member is truly dedicated to helping us achieve any goal we set for ourselves. The students are also what sets the school apart from the others, and it's always clear that every student is dedicated and willing to put in the work to succeed. I'm truly blessed to attend a school that puts you in the right direction to be successful in everything you do. I believe that persevering through and graduating from the school has already put you on the path to success. On the first day of high school, I can remember being so scared of the giant place and the people in it. However, it didn't take long for me to get adjusted to it. And now, it's like a second home, and I'm grateful to the staff and faculty who helped me have the high school experience that many other kids wish they had. I want to congratulate everyone on court, and thank you to the senior class for nominating me. <laughs> so, dude, this is Daniel Hernandez, better known as Danny or DB. And the time is us. Uh, well, the time is midnight, and again, I've chosen to do something at the very last minute. Every year, the same question is asked. What does it mean to be a cyclone? And every year, we hear the same repetitive answers. Though these answers are true to the question, I feel there's more than just being a responsible and respectful person in the classroom. For me, I really do believe that being a cyclone means being yourself. Being able to express yourself without caring about what others say or think is one of the best things you can learn in high school. Well, you know, eh, math and English, they're somewhat important, but it's the skills that were said before that will benefit you in the long run. Along with being yourself, you have to be able to speak your mind. And right now, right now my mind's telling me no. But my bot, oh, wait, wrong thought. Right now, my mind is telling me to tell you to not be fooled by all the gimmicks going through this court. With anything you see or hear, you need to go with the truth. And the truth is within the dark side. Dark Side has a reference both to the Star Wars and the Oakland Raiders. The Dark Side knows what the people want. They want a guy who knows every single word to the movie Friday. A dude who can dab it up to any song. A dude that can make anyone laugh in any situation. But then again, that's just in my mind. To each his own. Now, I just want to thank my class for nominating me, and best of luck to the rest of the court. Oh, and go Raiders. Week 14. Always remember. Hello. My name is Josh Leyla, and I'm supposed to tell you about what it means to be a cyclone. So you're probably expecting some variation of the same speech you've already heard several times, something about the importance of respect and compassion and the sense of belonging. But those things aren't what it means to be a cyclone. Every organization gives you a sense of belonging. Every organization has a set of shared values. Those things aren't unique to us. If that's all there is to being a cyclone, then there's no significance at all to being a cyclone. 
So the question is, what is unique about being a cyclone? Well, for starters, we're in the lowest funded district in the country. We are in a small, do-nothing town. We're in a place where it's really easy to just give up in. A place where it's really easy to just say, I don't care anymore. But that's not what Pueblo West High School is. We are not a school filled with people who have given up. We do not have the athletics, the academics, and the extracurriculars of a school that just doesn't care anymore. There is a difference in our school, and people see that difference. People know that Pueblo West High School is different from its surroundings, that despite its surroundings, we are a school brimming with potential, filled with passionate people. And I believe that is what it means to be a cyclone. Thank you for your time. What does it mean to be a cyclone? A cyclone is someone who always gives it their all in the classroom, on the field, and outside of school. A cyclone gives their utmost respect to everyone in their community. A cyclone is a powerful force of nature that lets nothing stand in its way of conquest. My name is Eric Sun, and I believe that I am a cyclone. But don't just take my word for it. Eric's a, he's a pretty cool guy. He's uh, always first in everything. It's great. He's handsome, he's good at math, and he got accepted to Harvard. Okay. Eric's my best friend. He just doesn't know it yet. Eric, he got accepted to Harvard. And when I asked him if he was going to attend, he said, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's like the best person I've ever met. If I was alone on an island and I could take one person with me, it would be yes. Eric. Yeah. Uh, I would vote for Eric. Yeah, I would vote for Eric too. Yeah. Vote for Eric's son. Hi, my name is Mitchell Wilkinson and I'm a senior from Pueblo West High School. Would you like to learn more about what it means to be a cyclone? Hit it. Yeah. I know these stories get old, but to be a cyclone you gotta be bold. Get out of the cold and out of your mold. Just sit down right here, your mind's about to be blown. What is a cyclone? Yes, a ball of wind, that's true, but being a cyclone means much more to me and to you. It means camaraderie. Yeah, we're a family here. You can't hear me? Listen. Put it up to your ear. You gotta listen. Do you hear what I'm saying? You gotta be bold. It's no more of that fish filleting. Step out of your shell and just do what's right, because we are cyclones. Respect's a way of life. When I stepped in those halls, I felt unprepared. To say the least, I was nervous and scared. I felt like I belonged to something bigger than me. Bigger than you, bigger than he and she. I didn't feel out of place, not in football or choir. I made some new friends and rekindled old fires. I've always been different, I just wanted to be heard. Throughout the years, I became free like a bird. I set new goals, things I could acquire. I wanted to change and reach for something higher. But sometimes life gets hard and things get in your way. You want to move on, you don't want to stay. Junior year, I blew out my knee. Being a cyclone is overcoming adversity. As I recovered in 10 long months, I learned the value of hard work and got helped a bunch. High school's almost over, and I'm sure it's been fun, but because I'm a cyclone, I'll never be done. Rise up and shout with your cyclone pride, because we're a family, it's known far and wide. Yeah, respect, be bold. Be sure to go to Moodle to vote for your favorite candidate. Now to James Moore with more sports. Hello, I'm James Moore with More Sports. This Tuesday, we have girls basketball at Pueblo Centennial and boys basketball against Pueblo Centennial here. And we have girls varsity swimming versus La Junta at Pueblo County High School. You've been watching More Sports with me, James Moore. Thanks, James. And now we present to you the Weekend Update with Tomas and Josh. Hello, and welcome back to the Weekend Update. I'm Josh Leva. And I'm Tomas Bernal. 
You know, Tomas, some people accuse our weekend update of being too liberal. What, Josh? That's crazy. I know. I mean, I'm an anarchist. And I'm a vegan. Now, on to the news. The President of France has declared a financial emergency to which the UN responded, Duh! In response to hearing about this, President Barack Obama said, Same, fam. This week is the Spirit Week. Today is Lazy Day, so just be yourself. It's Winter Day, and I'll finally be able to break out that flip-flop and wool sock combination I've been dying to wear. 50 days, uh, many Pueblo West teachers and uh, administration members were excited to hear about the day's theme until they found out that it's not actually about the year they were born or how old they are. Um, Thursday is James Bond Day, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem for anybody because who doesn't have a tuxedo just lying around the um, house? Everybody does. Everybody does. The Playboy Mansion is on sale for $200 million. Apparently, owner Hugh Hefner is excited to be moving into his new house where he will still be surrounded by women younger than himself. In other news, President Barack Obama isn't speaking at his daughter's graduation. When asked to comment, the president says he deals with enough immature, spoiled brats in Congress. Well, Tomas, now that we've seen the Sir West speeches, what do you think of all the nominees? Josh, I think the nominees are lame, I think they're losers, and they never choose the cool people to be nominated, ever. Is this because you weren't nominated? Josh, I don't care about being nominated. It doesn't matter to me. It's all a big show anyway. So, you wouldn't participate even if you were nominated? No way. Wouldn't think about it. Wouldn't even consider it. Well, then I guess it's a good thing that you'll never be nominated. Well, thanks for watching this edition of the Weekend Update. I'm Josh Leba. And I'm Tomas Bernal. And tune in next week for some more high-quality news. Thanks, Tomas and Josh. And thank you for watching today's news broadcast. Be sure to go to pwhnews.net for more news, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow our Twitter.